Hello friends, we are going to see the demo of online GDP compiler for HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So in Google search online GDP compiler, choose the, the online GDP.com. Here you have to choose the language, languages, HTML, JS and CSS. The sample program which is shown here, HTML and body within the body, the header type is H1, hello world is given here. You will run the program and check the result. Run the program, you have to choose the run button or you have to press the shortcut key F9. So this is the hello world is my output which is shown this is the output area which is show output is shown here. Now taking a modification. I'm happy learning and header type H3. So happy learning is shown here. Next, so debugger, the debugger is not supported for HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Debug will support for C, C++, Java and Python. Next is a stop menu. When program is running, you want to stop, you can go for it. But it's also very useful for C, C++. Java and Python share option. The first one is URL format. Second one is embedded script format. You can copy and use it. To you want to save the program in your project, you have to select the save menu. I am I'm already having an account. I'm choosing my Google. Project name is HTML project and I have save my project if you go for my project I will find my recently created project HTML project so here I will get this code next beautify the beautify it won't work for the HTML if you give a beautify then alignment will get changed and will show an error I undo it so it is very useful for C, C, Java, and Python. You want to download the code, you have to select this download code option. The code will get downloaded okay, in your download file. Next, you want to upload a file, you have to create a HTML file first. So you have to give a name as an index. I am opening it. With the notepad plus plus editor so this is my html in a header i have given a title this is my page and the body i have given welcome to dr jk academy and here is a paragraph i enjoy your learning experience is a sentence this paragraph so it is displayed as a separate paragraph now i'm going to upload it to upload a file, you have to choose this upload option, upload file. So from the desktop, I am uploading my index.html. Now my code is shown here. I will run the program. So welcome to Dr. JK Academy. This is the header type 1 and I have a paragraph enjoy your learning experience which is shown in the bottom where your output will get displayed. So to create a new tab, you have to create a new file here and you have to give a suitable name. Test when giving a name. A new tab will get created. You have to write a code to delete it or you rename it. You have an option. You have to choose the, the dot buttons which is shown in the right side and this is for rename. 
So test one, I'm renaming it as a test one, or it will get renamed. If I want to delete it, I have to give a delete option. So next, we are going to discuss, this is the help menu, keyboard shortcuts will be shown here, ID shortcuts. For example, new file, control M, run code, F9, extra will be shown here. You can learn the shortcut and you can use it for fast coding. Settings. The first one is theme. So this is the dark theme. I want to change it as a light. I have to choose the light theme. Now it is a light theme. Light and dark theme. Next, the editor mode. Three types of editors are available. One is normal, Emacs and Vim. You can choose the editor whichever you want. Generally, it is normal. Next, the font size. Now it is in medium. I want to change it to large font. You have to, I have to select large. Now it is in the large font. You want it as a small font, you can go for the small one and medium and the large. When you select it, then the font size will get changed. Next, tab space is I have given four spaces. I want to reduce it to two, it will be reduced. It's a tab. And I want to give tab. Okay. For example, I'm changing it to six. When I give a next tab, it will move to six spaces. Can change the tab space next auto complete so here we are having auto complete support for example giving something for b means so a lot of tags is available for example i am choosing br so this is an auto complete when auto complete is on i can get a support here so for example i'm uh, just make the auto complete turn off now i'm trying now it is not coming so, how to on your auto complete when you are going for a code? When you on it, the support will come. Okay, now you will get a support. Next is word wrap. To on the word wrap, you have to choose as an on or off. So, you will find some extra compare flag here. So, these are all about the settings. And I have explained about the classrooms and uh, programming questions and learning program, learn programming uh, options are in my previous video. I have given in the description also. You can uh, see the video and understand these options. That's it. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel, share, comment and press the bell button. Thank you.